Do you ever feel overwhelmed by the ever-changing world of technology? Tech It Out can help make some sense of it all. Breaking down geek speak into street speak, technology columnist, author, and TV personality Mark Saltzman covers consumer technology each week for every listener. Mark tackles the latest news, reviews, and how-tos to help you understand what's hot, what's not, and why. Hey everyone, welcome to episode 190 of Tech It Out on this long weekend edition of the show. Happy Easter, even though it may be looking a lot different this year uh, once again. If you've got some restrictions on social gatherings where you may live. And if so, hopefully this will be the last time we can't celebrate holidays with loved ones congregating together, right? Sheesh. Anyhow, we do have a great Tech It Out plan for you. We're going to start with a new app that lets you record your loved one's stories in their voice, which can then be preserved for future generations. And it's completely free. T-Mobile will stop by to talk about 5G. What is it exactly? What do you need to get going? And how much better is it really than 4G? Where is it available? And so on. And from 5G to LG, we're going to talk with LG this hour about a new laundry pair they've got that looks like a stacked washer and dryer, but it is one unit and with a lot of tech. It's actually a lot smaller for those living in condos and so on. And finally, I talked about working from home this week on several TV stations. And so at the end of this week's Tech It Out, I'll share some great gear to make your regular home office into a stellar one, a bit of a makeover, if you will. All of this and more on an all new Tech it out powered by asus which i'll tell you more about shortly but let's kick off the show with our first interview while it may be considered a grim topic the truth of the matter is we're not going to live forever and just how will you be remembered after you're gone Well, thankfully, technology can serve as a powerful tool for archiving your life, which can then be enjoyed by future generations. We're now going to learn about a unique solution called Remember This. We've got on the line its co-creator, Amanda Cupido. Welcome back to the show, Amanda. Hi, thanks for having me. Pleasure. Good to have you back on the program. Before we talk about Remember This, please tell us a bit about your work, including your book about podcasting. Yeah, sure. So my background is in radio, where I worked as a producer, reporter, anchor. I've always been a lover of audio storytelling. Mm -hmm. Um, But I've been working in podcasting for more than 10 years now. I've created dozens of shows, mainly for thought leaders and organizations. So right now, I'm currently the founder of Lead Podcasting, which is an organization that creates those podcasts. And I'm also the author of Let's Talk Podcasting, The Essential Guide to Doing It Right. And it is a great book. And thank you for sending it to me. The last time we had you on the show, it had just launched. So I hope it did well for you. Yes. Thank you for the testimonial. For sure. So at a high level, Amanda, tell us all about Remember This. So Remember This is a podcast and an app. So they speak to each other. And the focus is on capturing memories. We know how precious oral histories can be. And a lot of people don't really have the know-how and how to produce audio stories. And we know that lots of people find audio so intimate. And it's such a beautiful way to remember either a family member or a story. And so Remember This is dedicated to capturing those stories that deserve to live forever. All right. So I'm intrigued on how it works as both a podcast and an app. Maybe you can walk us through the process. Yeah. So the app is super user friendly. It is at rememberthispodcast.com. People can just go for free and they get prompted with a series of questions, pretty general, just about life and proudest moments. Um, And people can record answers. And then the app stitches everything together automatically and includes narration and music. And so by the end of it, you have an automatically created this slickly produced audio story that you can then download for yourself, share with your family, and it's yours to keep, or you could submit it to the podcast. So this is where the podcast comes in, and which is great. If you want to share that story with the world, you submit it to the podcast, and it can get featured on our RSS feed. Now, that feed is going to include people who are using the app and original interviews that I've conducted in an effort to kind of lift the voices of the elderly. We see in the podcast space that the elderly voices aren't actually represented presented well. Mm -hmm. Um, And so this was an effort to kind of lift that community and lift those stories that there was a gap currently. Awesome. And then do you use your smartphone to record those answers? We basically all have one. So uh, we already have the hardware required. Or do you need something higher end like a USB microphone or something? 
You can use a USB microphone if you have one, but not need it at all. You can actually use your phone, a computer, or a tablet. It works on all three devices. Right, because they all have microphones. So great. What prompted you, Amanda, to create this app? And I know you've got some partners as well, but I believe this is your idea. Yeah, it was my brainchild because I was working in the podcasting space, as I mentioned, for years, and I would be holding a lot of workshops. And at these workshops, I always had people coming up to me and asking what they can do to preserve these kinds of stories. And my heart would go out to these people who either had hours of audio that they didn't know what to do with, or they had a loved one who was experiencing early onset Alzheimer's or memory loss. And so I was at first just individually offering my help to come and edit tape for them and put something together. But I was like, we got to find a better solution that can be scaled beyond just my two hands here and what I can help with. Mm. So uh, that's what sparked the idea. And I was lucky enough to bring on two developers and a lawyer to help me build this and make it accessible for everyone as a pro bono give back to the community. Mm. I love how you said edit tape. You can tell you've been doing this for a while. Yeah, <laughs> right. There it is. <laughs> yeah. <there. laughs> uh, did, w- did this have anything to do with COVID? Was that kind of a wake up call? Like, wow, there are these people who did not expect that their life would be cut short, uh, nor did their relatives expect anything like that. And then to add insult to injury, they weren't allowed to be near their dying relatives who you know succumbed to the pandemic and uh, they couldn't archive their stories. So I think COVID just puts a higher priority on all of this. And it puts into perspective how valuable um, our older populations are and how vulnerable they are. But we started this project pre-COVID, but it actually did add a little fire underneath us to really get this out there, given the time. And also even just as an example, we put out a trailer with an original interview I had conducted with someone and um, she's passed away just a couple of weeks ago. Her name was Peggy. And um, I had been touring in some long-term care facilities facilities to help make a podcasting more accessible to some tech savvy elderly. And uh, she was one of them who attended my, my free workshop there. And so it was just really indicative of that. Like if I hadn't done that at that time, I got some really rich stories from Peggy and, and now it would have been too late. So I'm really glad I had that opportunity to do so. Mm-hmm. I do want to ask you about how tech savvy you need to be. We'll get to that in a second. But we are chatting with Amanda Cupido. She is the creator of an app and a podcast called Remember This at Remember This podcast.com, a way to archive your loved one's stories so that even after they're gone, it lives on thanks to technology. So I love your anecdote about long-term care facilities and working with Peggy, and I'm sorry to hear of her passing. Do you need like a tech-savvy relative to do the interviewing? Or even if you are, and I know that seniors is a, you know, you've been talking about the elderly and seniors as a target audience here. Is it easy enough for them to do it on their own, to answer those questions and then share it with somebody? We really tried to make it as accessible as possible. So the app has very high color contrast. So it's easy to read fonts. We have very large text and it's a matter of press clicking through buttons. It's super straightforward, super easy. We really did want to empower people of all ages to be able to use this. So yes, I think if you have someone who's using a phone already, they could probably use the app. But if not, we also created it so that a person could be wielding the piece of technology. There's a bit of a countdown before the recording starts. So that gives you time to move the the device towards the person you're recording. So it can work either way. And even though you've prompted the user with suggested questions, you can obviously tell any kind of story you want. Exactly. So there are some prompt questions, but then the last question is an open-ended one. So that gives you some space to just share anything that might not have been covered. And you also don't have to answer all the questions we put there. You can skip through and just pick the ones that make sense for you. You've been calling it an app, but just to be clear, it's a website that you can access on your mobile phone or on a computer or tablet, but it isn't an app that you would download from the App Store or Google Play Store or anything, right? Just to be clear. That's right. Nothing to download. You, Yeah, it's just meant to live on online and that it still does all of the the workings that an app might do, but there's nothing to actually right. download. You just have to go to the website. Right. And the benefit there is that you don't have to download the app and uh, find it on a busy sort of home screen, nor would you have to download an update if there is one. That's all handled on the back end, right? Exactly. Okay. So web apps are where it's at these days. So <laughs> as we wrap up with Remember This, how much does it cost? Or is there any cost for the podcast uh, option if you choose one to feature? No, I don't think every single interview that is submitted is used. Maybe you could talk us through how the pricing works. Yeah, so it's 
actually genuinely free. Um, there's no catch. We do think there might be some add-ons later on that will roll out that might have a cost associated with it. But at its base, this is free and will always be free. This is something that me and the team were really passionate about because what drove us to create this was making podcasting more accessible, lifting the voices of the elderly, and really trying to allow people to feel empowered in capturing these really precious stories. So there's no tricks here. It's uh, it's out there as a give back. And wow. uh, we're just motivated by um, by the community and by the stories. I love this, Amanda. Congratulations. Again, it's rememberthispodcast.com. You can access it on any internet connected device and just tap the microphone button to answer the questions and then submit it and share it. And maybe it'll be featured as a Remember This podcast interview as well, which is fantastic. Amanda, thanks so much again for your time. Amanda Capito, co-creator of Remember This. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. You're listening to Tech It Out on the Radio America Network. This show is powered by Asus for those in search of incredible. Asus creates technology for today and tomorrow's smart life. And that includes its line of award-winning laptops and desktops, monitors, smartphones and smartwatches, tablets, and much more. For those in search of incredible, visit asus.com slash us slash radio for more info. That's asus.com forward slash us forward slash radio. When we return on Tech It Out, we're going to catch up with T-Mobile to learn all about 5G. This is a phrase that we've heard a lot over the last year or two, but what is it exactly and what do you need to get going? Is it worth the investment? And so on and so forth. Stick with us. We'll be right back. Don't touch that dial. Listen to Tech It Out whenever you want. Find the Tech It Out podcast at iTunes or wherever you get your podcasts. Welcome back to Tech It Out. We've heard the phrase 5G for a couple of years now, especially over the past year with several ads about it online and on TV and on the radio. And so I wanted to have a plain English refresher about what 5G is all about, who it's for, and what you need to take advantage of this next generation of cellular connectivity offered by T-Mobile and others. And so joining us on the line is Mark McDermott. He's the SVP of Radio Network Engineering and Development at T-Mobile. Welcome to the show, Mark. Good to talk to you. Hey, Mark. It's great to be here and appreciate the opportunity to chat with you today. Awesome. So why don't we start off at a high level, Mark? What is 5G all about? Well, yeah. So 5G is really the, the, the latest generation in wireless connectivity uh, technologies. And really, it's about three things. It's about faster connections. It's about much lower latency connections. And it's about massive connectivity to connect millions of devices to the network that previously may not have been connectable. And when I say faster, the average speeds today that T-Mobile is delivering run around about 300, 300 megabits per second. And the latency reductions that we'll see with 5G will allow applications to run much more smoothly and more responsibly. And, of course, massive connectivity is about connecting the Internet of Things, industrial automation, automation of things that really benefit from regular check-ins and connectivity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you hear a lot of talk about IoT or Internet of Things in the same breath as 5G. So billions of devices all communicating with one another. Pretty incredible. So you've talked about the faster speeds and lower latency. From what I understand, Mark, uh, 5G also yields higher density. So is that fair to say that if someone on a 5G network would have a smoother experience than when in, say, a packed sporting event or in a concert post-COVID than those on a 4G network? Yeah, I think that's right. To, that's correct to say. Uh, 5G, as we've built it out at T-Mobile, uh, has brought access to brand new set of spectrum uh, resources. So much more capacity because of more radio spectrum in play on more cell sites. And of course, as we combine Sprint and T-Mobile together and uh, build one network, and that's happening on a very much an accelerated uh, time frame, the density of cell sites is, is higher as well. So those two factors are multiplicative. They create more capacity. And 5G is more efficient uh, in how it uses radio spectrum than 4G and 3G, um, you know, the previous generations. So those three factors really multiply together to significantly boost capacity in the network. And in our case, that's up to 14x capacity. Mm relative to how Sprint and T-Mobile would have performed as 4G companies. So just a huge lift in performance. And is this the kind of performance you can expect now, like in spring of 2021, or sort of the future promise of 5G, near future? 
Oh, it's here today, no question about that. Okay. So today at T-Mobile, we're covering 287 million Americans with extended range 5G. That's the, the low band frequency ranges that we use to, to reach uh, practically everybody in the country already. Mm-hmm. And ultra capacity, which builds on the low band, uh, the ultra capacity 5G service, which covers 125 million Americans today and growing. And we got goals to get above 200 million by the end of this year. So moving very quickly in the build out and making that available freely to everybody. All right. So nearly two thirds of the population. Impressive. And it would be remiss for me not to ask Mark how the T-Mobile 5G network would compare to, say, an AT&T or a Verizon. Yeah, well, of course, we spend a lot of time looking at that, Mark, as you can imagine. So today, our 5G network covers two and a half times the geographic area compared to AT&T and four times the geographic area compared to Verizon. So we have a much, much broader area network than either of our competitors today. And with ultra-capacity 5G, which um, uses mid-band spectrum and low-band spectrum together, um, we're currently covering 50 times, that's five zero times, 50x, uh, more people than Verizon's ultra-wideband service. So very proud of that. <clears throat> it's really about using the right spectrum assets and, and getting it deployed very quickly. So that's how we compare to the competition. We are chatting with Mark McDermott. He is the Senior Vice President of Radio Network Engineering and Development at T-Mobile. He's giving us a bit of a 5G 101. I mean, this is a term we hear all the time, but it's it's helpful to have a refresher, just a, a bit of a plain English explanation about what 5G is all about, as well as what you need to get going. So I'm assuming that there are a lot of devices that uh, T-Mobile carries that support 5G. Please tell us a few of them. And do you need to pay more for access to the 5G network? Yeah, very much important questions for, for customers. So very importantly, we're not charging any more to access 5G than previously. So just your regular rate plans at T-Mobile uh, will get you connected. Um, and of course, we just recently launched Magenta Max, which is the first and only wireless plan that offers truly unlimited premium data. So that that's uh, fully available at T-Mobile. But yeah, we're not charging anything additional for access to 5G, which is maybe a little bit different than our competitors. And the only thing our customers need to access 5G is, of course, a 5G compatible device. But uh, we were able to sell those devices at at price points as low as $300 now. And as the technology matures, you'll see prices come down further in all likelihood. So Hmm. just a great feature-rich, high-performing smartphone solution uh, starting at $300 and obviously all the way up to the premium devices on the high end. All right. So that would be like an entry level Android device that uh, supports the 5G network and then all the way up to a top tier iPhone or a Samsung Galaxy device, which would be a premium device. I know you're you're not mentioning brands, but I will if that's all right. Uh, But it sounds like you've got quite a few options for all budgets, which is great. We're going to continue chatting with Mark McDermott from T-Mobile after this short break. We'll continue learning about 5G, what's needed to get going. Do you have to do anything different on the phone once you receive this? And anything else you need to know before upgrading to 5G? Whether it's for work or for play or a little bit of both. I'm your host, Mark Saltzman. You're listening to Tech It Out. We'll be right back. Want to follow Mark? Google him. Mark with a C and Saltzman with a Z. Breaking down geek speak into street speak. This is Tech It Out. Tech It Out with technology columnist, author, and TV personality, Mark Saltzman. Welcome back to Tech It Out. Once again, this program is powered by Asus for those in search of incredible. I'm actually recording this radio show right now on an Asus Zenbook. That's their premium line of laptops with all kinds of really cool innovation. I actually just saw one of their new Asus Zenbooks in an Intel spot on social media. Very cool. Speaking of social media, feel free to reach out and say hi, by the way, before we continue chatting with Mark McDermott from T-Mobile. I'll give you all my deets on social. If you want to swing by, say hi. I'm 
online this weekend. Let me know what you think of the program. If you have suggestions for upcoming guests or topics, anything you don't like about the show, I'm all ears. So if you're on Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, or YouTube, I'm on those five platforms. It's Mark Saltzman, Mark with a C, S-A-L-T-Z-M-A-N, and you can easily find me there. If you don't want to write anything publicly, you can always direct message me, DM me, or you can just shoot me an email if it's easier. Make note of my email address. It's tech at marksaltzman.com, T-E-C-H at M-A-R-C-S-A-L-T-Z-M-A-N.com. All right, let's continue chatting with Mark McDermott from T-Mobile. We're learning all about 5G what devices are available. He mentioned they even have a few models that are as low as a couple of hundred dollars that will give you 5G connectivity if it's in your area. And if I'm not mistaken, Mark, you don't need to do anything on the device itself to enable 5G. It should just work out of the box if it's available in your area, correct? Yes, you've got it exactly right, Mark. It just works. So you literally pull it out of the box, fire it up, and you're going to get 5G service. Mm -hmm. I remember smiling the first time I saw the little 5G logo in the top corner of my phone. I was like, all right, here we are. The future is here. Before we wrap up, Mark, what would you say is the biggest misconception when it comes to 5G? I think there's, you know, over the last couple of years, there's been a bit of confusion, uh, mainly propagated by our competition about what 5G is. And and very simply, our goal at T-Mobile is to make it available for customers, uh, for all customers, not to charge extra for that access and to to let them enjoy the experiences that 5G can bring to life. And and we do that at T-Mobile. We've done that by starting by the build-out of low-band spectrum. That's the uh, extended range 5G that we operate. And we've done it by adding on top of that the ultra-capacity 5G and making those two layers work well together, not only with each other, but with 4G, the underlying 4G network, which continues to operate. Mm -hmm. So it's about bringing bringing to life really compelling smartphone experiences. They're clearly better than what people were experiencing before. So all while maintaining an improving quality of connection so that people can access the internet, they can reach the content they want to consume, and they can enjoy the experience with uh, free of congestion at much, much higher speeds. So I think that's what's really making 5G compelling this year, and I think that's kind of uniquely different. Right. And you are future-proofing your investment because just like 4G LTE, 5G will evolve and get better over time. Yeah, so maybe to shine a bit of light on performance, Mark, you know, I think it's fair to say most people who buy devices, 4G devices today, are experiencing average speeds in the range of 30 to 40 megabits per second. That's uh, instantaneous speed. Um, But with 5G today at T-Mobile, when you're in the ultra-capacity 5G network, uh, you're experiencing averages which are almost 10x faster Mm -hmm. uh, and with peaks up to gigabit per second so the experience really is sort of materially different and and much quicker and 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 that's just we're just getting started so you can imagine five ten years from now where we're we're going to be and interestingly some analysts and experts predict that 5g could usher in the third wave of cord cutting so many of our listeners have uh, canceled their landline in in favor of their smartphone many have cut off cable tv uh, for streaming services if 5g lives up to the hype and evolves as rapidly as many are hoping for it could be much faster than your home's wi-fi so you may not need home yeah. Wi-Fi anymore with an ISP, right? Yeah, well, I, I can tell you that I think you're exactly right. Uh, here today in north central Washington, in this very phone call that we're, we're having here, I'm communicating uh, to you, Mark, using a 5G T-Mobile router. So I am a, I'm living, living the, 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 the experience you just described. I've cut the cord with everybody. I have no telephone line. I have no broadband provider at my house. Uh, and what I do have is T-Mobile fixed wireless access router that's running in 5G. And, of course, I'm in the middle of a very agricultural area, with 200 miles from Seattle. So it's a testimony to the fact it's here in Chelan, Washington, that I can do that. So it's happening right now, and it's happening with uh, our broadband service at T-Mobile. And you're going to see us, build, you know, going to offer that service over wider areas in America, uh, well into the rural areas too. So just a very exciting transformation. And I think you're quite right in the sense that so many Americans don't have choice of broadband connectivity, or if they have choice, it's maybe not at a competitive price. 
And it's our job as an carrier to deliver that choice and, and, and really offer competition and bring prices down. So that's our mission, and uh, our tagline is we won't stop. All right, Mark, thanks so much for your time. Mark McDermott, SVP of Radio and Network Engineering and Development at T-Mobile. T-Mobile.com has more. Mark McDermott, great to chat with you. Have a fantastic spring. All the best. Great to chat to you, Mark, and thanks for the opportunity. Take care. Hey, don't forget, we have two more segments on this week's Tech It Out show for you. After we take a short break in about a minute or so, we're going to learn about the LG Wash Tower all along the Wash Tower. Sorry, bad Jimi Hendrix pun there. Anyhow, we're going to learn about this, what looks like a stacked laundry unit, a washer and dryer. It's actually one piece and much smaller, yet the drum size is about the same as a standard washer and dryer, but great for small condos and things like that. And a lot of tech, including artificial intelligence. Hello. So we're going to get to all of that in a moment. And then followed by my home office makeover tips. I'm going to go through some gear that I'm recommending from mesh systems, which is advanced Wi-Fi for larger spaces to smart home office printer, scanner, copiers that are wireless, great audio for recording radio shows and podcasts like this and a lot more. So stay tuned for a lot more Tech It Out coming up. I'll also share with you not really a home office related tip, but this uh, T-Mobile Tuesdays offer. If you are a T-Mobile customer or a Metro by T-Mobile customer, you download this free app called T-Mobile Tuesdays and you can redeem special offers and giveaways and such every week on Tuesdays. Duh. And one that you could redeem by April 6th is free MLB TV for a year. It's valued at $130, which is awesome. So you do need to be a T-Mobile customer or a Metro by T-Mobile customer, but you could take advantage of that now that baseball season is officially here so i'll tell you more about that after this break i mentioned earlier i'm on social media i encouraged you to come by and say hi i'm on twitter instagram linkedin facebook and youtube mark with a c saltzman with a z but if you follow me on those platforms i also write a tech tip of the day to show you how to get more out of your tech without needing a degree in computer engineering to pull it off so looking forward to seeing you online we'll be right back with more tech it out Stick with us. Breaking down geek speak into street speak. Check it out. Hosted by Mark Saltzman. You're listening to Tech It Out on the Radio America Network. Thanks for tuning in. It's one of the appliances most of us can't live without, washers and dryers. But you might not think technology has improved much on laundry machines over the years. Well, you might just be surprised what's available. And so I wanted to invite onto the show my next guest from LG to share what's new with its LG Wash Tower. We're joined by Ashley Odisho, Senior Marketing Manager for LG Home Appliances. Welcome back to the show, Ashley. Good to chat with you. Thanks so much for having me, Mark. It's always a pleasure. Great. So why don't we jump right in? Tell us about the new LG Wash Tower. I am very excited to talk about this today. It is the epitome of modern design and technology for laundry, as it brings full-size capacity laundry into a single unit design that's packed with innovative features. It comes with a convenient, exclusive center control panel, so it places the washer and dryer controls in the middle of the unit, as opposed to when you think of conventionally stacking two front load washer dryers, which would have the dryer control way at the top. This unit has that in the middle, so it just makes for a really ergonomic and convenient user experience. All right. So, yeah, because I Googled a photo of this, and it does look like a stacked laundry pair, but it is, in fact, one unit. And as you said, the uh, sort of button layout has been more ergonomically designed to fit our height, so you're not uh, reaching for something, so it's uh, more convenient. Just to be clear, it is a washer and dryer in one unit. From what I understand, Ashley, when it comes to doing laundry, about half of us define fault to the normal cycle on our washers and dryers because we simply don't know which setting to use and I can relate to that. What makes the LG wash tower special in this respect? Yeah, for sure. The LG wash tower has a built-in artificial intelligence direct drive motor, which we call AIDD technology, which uses sensors to detect the fabric softness and load size and then customizes wash motion temperatures and the cycle time to give the optimal wash. And now we take it one step further because to me, drying is just as important as washing. So with the LG smart pairing option, the washer can then tell your dryer the compatible drying cycle to use based on what you just washed. So we've really taken the guesswork out of laundry. 
And someone like me can appreciate that. So that's pretty wild. I haven't heard that before. So the washing machine can automatically detect the fabric softness as well as the volume and then adjust the settings accordingly. Exactly. And to go one step further, it can then wirelessly communicate that information to the dryer as well. That's amazing. All right. But tell us a bit more about the design of these machines, because it is important. For sure, especially with laundry rooms, you know, really reinventing themselves and no longer being that like black hole in your closet or the, you know, the basement. True. The, the look of the laundry machine is ever more present. So this has a beautiful premium black steel finish with a chrome rim. And again, that center control panel that's really premium. It also is scratch resistant tempered glass and just should look good for the long haul, you know, with with the nice finishes that we have. And with the single unit design, what we notice is that you can actually reinvent your laundry space now. So rather than having conventional, you know, front load washer dryer side by side, by having this stacked unit, it allows for more space within within laundry rooms to have storage or maybe even pet sinks now, which are becoming ever more prominent. So we really like the versatility that this unit offers. Yeah, for sure. And if you think about how many of our listeners may be in a small condo, you know, where space is an issue, having it stacked is a smart use of the environment. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So let's go back to the tech again, Ashley. So earlier you were talking about how the washer can automatically detect the the fabric being used and, and the volume of clothes. So it can automatically adjust the kind of cycle you get and even wirelessly send drying instructions to the dryer, which is pretty wild. Is this part of what LG calls ThinkQ technology? That's correct. Through our mobile app, uh, called Thank You. You're able to have additional features such as that smart pairing feature I touched on, but you're also able to do a lot more with that. You can remote start or stop your laundry. You can get a notification that your laundry is done. And what I love about this is that it's compatible with Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa. So you can actually, you know, manage laundry through voice commands. All right. So if you have an Amazon or Alexa smart speaker, you can use your voice. So maybe you can give us an example or two of what you could ask for. And then also on the app, what kind of information you can see or tap if you prefer that over a smart speaker. Okay, yeah, for sure. So the easiest one, and I think what will be utilized the most is just asking your Google Assistant or Amazon Alexa, how much time is left on your laundry load? That's just super convenient so that you don't have to go, you know, to the actual laundry room, which believe it or not, is a pain point for many consumers. And in terms of what you could see on the actual mobile phone through the app are things like, again, the same thing, actually, that what you would ask the Google Home Assistant. Um, you could see the time remaining. You could actually send that notification to the dryer when the wash load is complete through that smart pairing app and additional download cycles. So, you know, although a lot of people, 50%, like you pointed out, opt for a normal cycle. A lot of people now with, you know, doing um, a lot of workouts at home and doing more laundry than ever, they want specific cycles. So you could actually, there's a plethora of cycles to download from that are, you know, customized for your needs. We're joined by Ashley Odisho, Senior Marketing Manager for LG Home Appliances. We're learning about the new LG wash tower. It looks like a stack washer and dryer, but it is in fact one unit. Ashley, how tall is it and is it shorter than having two stacked units? Yeah, because of the design with the center control panel being in the middle of the unit, we've been able to shave off approximately three and a half inches from the top of the unit compared to stacking a front load washer dryer. But the washer and dryer drum is as big as, as other units, even if they were stacked? Yes, full size capacity. Okay, cool. Why don't we wrap up with where it's available and how much it costs? The LG Wash Tower is already available at all national retailers and the MSRP is $25.99. All right, great chatting with you, Ashley. Ashley Odisha has been our guest. Good to chat with you. Have a great spring. Hope we get a chance to chat again soon. Thanks again, Mark. We're going to talk home office makeover tips when we return. Follow Mark Saltzman on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. Listen to Check It Out whenever you want. Hey, so I mentioned earlier in the program that I had a lot of fun on Wednesday talking on TV to more than 25 different stations about a home office makeover. How do you supersize your work from home experience so that you could stay productive while working from home? As I do think it's going to continue for a long while. 
And so I partnered with a few great brands to turn a regular home office into a stellar one. And so I wanted to run through these solutions with you if you want to make note of them, covering many different categories. So let's start off with the three big essentials for the home office. I would start with a PC. I showed on TV the HP ZBook Firefly G8. It's a workhorse as it gives you the power that you need to run demanding professional apps and without any slowdowns that you may have experienced in a previous work laptop. This ZBook is also incredibly thin and light, yet it offers up to an Intel Core i7 processor for a lot of power under the hood, as well as up to NVIDIA T500 graphics, and on the 14-inch model, HP's Academy Award-winning Dream Color technology. That's for enhanced color accuracy when doing things like photo or video editing. Prices start at $1,500 for the HP ZBook Firefly G8, and you can go to hp.com for more. Strong Wi-Fi is also in incredibly important, as you know, and the Eero Pro 6 is a fantastic mesh system that provides fast, reliable, and secure Wi-Fi, so you can work and play and school from home without disruption. Not only will it blanket your entire home with Wi-Fi, getting rid of those annoying dead zones, but the Eero Pro 6 also supports more simultaneously connected devices. In-app setup takes just minutes, plus you can use that app or your voice via an Alexa smart speaker to manage all the features. Prices start at $229 for a one-pack of the Eero Pro 6, but a two- and three-pack option is available as well at Eero.com. That's E-E-R-O.com. Next up, when it comes to a home office printer and scanner and copier, you'll want quality and reliability, of course. The HP OfficeJet Pro 9015E printer delivers office-quality productivity for those working and schooling from home, while the HP Plus Smart Printing System thinks ahead. So your printer is ready when you are, plus it's more secure and is more sustainable as well. That's one of the key pillars at HP. You also get six free months of Instant Ink. This is that service that automatically delivers ink to your door when it's running low. I love that. The convenience is fantastic. And with the HP Smart App, you can print, scan, and fax from the palm of your hand. The HP OfficeJet Pro 9015E costs $229 at hp.com slash plus. If you're just joining us now, I'm sharing a few and smart home office options. I did several TV interviews last week showing these gadgets in action. And you too, by the way, can go to killerapps.com to see these products. Again, killerapps.com. After I showed that laptop and Wi-Fi solution and printer, I talked about smartphones as well. Of course, we also rely on those as a fantastic tool for working remotely. And there's a free offer that's worth sharing. So you probably know T-Mobile Tuesday's reward customers with free offers and now Metro by T-Mobile customers can also benefit from giveaways and exclusive discounts since they're part of the T-Mobile family. In fact, now that spring is here, you can snag a year-long subscription to MLB TV for free, valued at $130 by simply downloading the T-Mobile Tuesdays app and then redeeming the offer between now and April 6th. Again, you just need to download and open the T-Mobile Tuesdays app every Tuesday to see all the offers available every week and by April 6th you can redeem that MLB TV year-long subscription valued at 130 bucks. Also cool that we had T-Mobile on the show this weekend as well. That was a fluke. All right, and finally, another home office essential. You can't underestimate the importance of audio quality on a video call. For professionals, students, and teachers working from home, consider the Shure MV5C home office microphone. It's ideal for video and conference calls. It's a directional microphone that prioritizes your voice, not the environment, and it includes a speech and enhancement mode for clearer studio quality sound. In fact, I'm talking to you on this microphone right now. Setup is super simple. You just plug it into a computer's USB port and that's it. You get both a USB-C and USB-A connector in the box so you can choose what's right for you. The Shure MV5C is only $99 at Shure.com slash MV5C. Again, S-H-U-R-E dot com forward slash MV5C. So as you can hear, you don't have to break the bank on some stellar home office gear from a laptop and Wi-Fi mesh system to a versatile printer, scanner, and copier that's wireless to smartphones and smartphone deals as well as microphones for that home office. Again, head over to killerapps.com to learn more. That's killerapps.com. As we wrap up on another episode of Tech It Out, I want to sincerely thank Asus, the title sponsor on this program. If you're a computer gamer like me, you got to check out their Republic of Gamers or ROG branded laptops and desktops 
laptops and accessories as well. You want that competitive advantage while you're playing online, of course. Asus.com slash US slash radio has more. Or you could just Google ROG or Republic of Gamers to see their lineup. It's extraordinary. Thank you for tuning into the program. Have a great long Easter weekend. And I look forward to catching up with you next weekend on another episode of Tech It Out. Stay safe. Ciao.